Let's analyze this exercise. In this case, we are working with uh, this percentage and I am using the quantifiers to express them. Let me select, well, I'm taking the one. This is in the US, I have to use it for the same part. In the US, most, because it is 69, almost 70, so most high school students, high school students, go to college, okay, to the university. Number two, I have 7%, it is not zero, but it is only few people. Few people in Brazil, wow, in Brazil are age 65 or older, so they are very young, oh my God. Then in the number three, we have zero. In terms of zero, we can say in India, mm, well, with small letter because it is comma, no capital, no point. So we can say no one votes. Remember to add the S here because it is no one votes before the age of 18 and then 40 percent 40 percent is more or less so we can use some people in sweden live alone and finally we are using 22 percent when 22% refers to not many, so we can say in Canada, not many people. I have to specify always the subject because this is the quantity. But we are uh, saying it general. Instead of saying 22%, I just say not many because it is my opinion. Not many people speak French at home. You see? And this is the way we're using the quantifiers, to say the things mm, in a more general way.